What's up guys, I'm back here for another video tutorial and today we're gonna to be using the GS911 diagnostic tool to enable the M animation screen and the heated grip levels. That's right, you can go different heated grip levels from three to six and you can also enable the M animation screen through the GS911 tool. So I'm gonna be showing you guys how to do that right now. For those of you that don't know what I'm talking about, this is the GS911 Wi-Fi tool right here and it's something we saw on our website and something we recommend to all BMW owners because not only can it do these little ticks, uh, tips and tricks, little hacks I'm gonna show you right now, but it can also reset service lights. You can also unlock your bike at that 350 mile mark like BMW does at the shop and you can do it yourself and do your own oil changes, which we already went over in our other video you can, you can check out there on the top right. And we explained that BMW is actually okay with you unlocking your own bike as long as you do the proper mileage on it and you do the proper oil and you're keeping all your receipts and making sure everything's kept track of. Now let's get into what actually we can do with this thing. So this is the interface for the GS911 and you can see there's a lot of options here. And we're on our 2023 BMW M1000RR for this. And I, I'll even go in here and show you guys, we can go to uh, engine controller, for example, special functions, and we can even do full adaptation resets. This is amazing stuff right here. The throttle, twist grip, mixture, knock sensors, you can reset the trans. I mean, you can even log with this thing. I mean, it has so many options, it's ridiculous. I'm just gonna show you guys a couple of quick little hacks here like I promised you at the beginning of the video here. So first, let's go to instrument cluster. Let's go into special uh, functions there, service functions. And let's go into, I believe it's under here, nope. Let's go under coding functions. Startup animation right there, boom. And right now, we have the M logo. You can do BMW Motorrad, Heritage Bagger, RTR. I can select from all of these and it'll give me the same startup animation on a S1000RR, which is hilarious. Um, so if I go GS, for example, let me try and continue here. I'm just gonna mess with it real quick. <laughs> yeah, now we got a GS on the 23M1000RR startup animation. That's hilarious. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this back to stock. But just to show you guys how you can change it that easily on this thing, it's so easy. Now what I'm gonna do here is show you guys how to do the heated grips mod. Here we go. So right here on the heated grips, you can see I only have three levels. That's all I got, three levels. Now I'm gonna change that to five levels. I actually like five levels in this thing. So once on the home screen, we're gonna to go to vehicle electronics, service functions again, coding functions. Now I'm gonna to go to heated grips. All right, there we go. Here's the heated grips. Now you can see I've got three levels on it right now. I'm gonna set this to five. Check out this cool stuff though. When I go to continue, it asks me for what percentages for each. So level one will now be 25%, level two will be 50, level three will be 75, four, 65, and level five will be 80%. I think that's cool. Let's go ahead and continue. Let's get this done. All right, check this out now. We're gonna go over here. And just like before, we saw three, let me get this focused properly here. Nice E5. Five of them right there, boom. That's how easy that is. And you guys can actually adjust, like I said, the percentages and all that stuff. So again, the GS911 Wi-Fi tool is amazing. You can use it with your phone. You can use it to reset service lights. You can do everything from your house. And like I said before, BMW is okay with you taking off your own limiter as long as you do it properly. And we kind of explained that in the warranty video I spoke about with the service manager at Long Beach BMW. But there are so many cool functions of this video, or sorry, this product. And like I said, we sell it on our website. I strongly recommend it for any BMW owner, not because I'm just trying to sell parts here, but because it really is a functional and capable piece of equipment. I recommend for everyone. And that's it for this one. And the next one, I'm gonna give you guys the 16K limiter, but we're gonna put it on the S1000RR. So for those of you who are fans, of that 16K limiter look, it will not actually go to 16K. It'll just read 16K just like the M1000. So if you like that look of it, I'm gonna put it in the S1000. That's the next video, guys. See you in the next one.